Hey guys, I'm, uh, as promised, I'm uh, going to make a video on how to uh, solve the downloadable web application brute force challenge on the security level low. So this is going to be quite easy, actually. Uh, the first step is to uh, log into this site with your Python code and if you don't know how to do that you can uh, watch my previous video where I explained this code right here and how you log in so I'll leave a link to that in the description so I'll just jump in where we left off we're now logged into the index.php page and uh, we're planning now to just navigate to the brute force page. And the way you do that with uh, console is to uh, do browser dot follow link. And you'll have to find out what the link is. So right click and inspect and find this type of code here. So the link here is vulnerabilities slash brute. like so so our uh, python program has now reached this page and we can use the same uh, the same method to uh, lo log into this form uh, as we've done with uh, the previous form except we just just don't know the password so right click inspect find out what the form is called see here where the action looks like that so you can just actually copy this or first of all we need to uh, create a password file uh, in a real case scenario you probably use something like uh, dark code or uh, another uh, list of uh, a bunch of normal passwords but in this uh, Example, we're going to use a small file that I'm uh, that I'm uh, making right now. So this is my uh, password file. I'm going to maybe a abc123 test123 password and uh, so some common passwords right here. I know, in fact, that the password is password, but let's pretend I don't. Okay. Now, uh, define a function called brute force and, and we'll uh, Inside the function, we'll have a uh, loop that uh, I have to read the file. So we'll create a list called passwords that will open up the uh, created document. Passwords.txt and read from it. So for uh, password in the password lists will try to log in using the method we learned er earlier so like this and we notice that the form have a different name so we'll change that like that and now we'll instead of knowing the password we'll uh, leave it like this so uh, it'll go through and try and uh, if you take a look at the uh, source code here you can see that uh, if the login is successful it will display this message welcome to the password protected area so we know we can copy that and say that if welcome to the password protected area in uh, uh, 
if that message shows sh shows up when we submit our form, then we have successfully um, guessed the password. So we can save a new variable as response that uh, submit selected, and we can say that uh, if welcome to the password protected area is in response.text print uh, the password is and then the password and then uh, just break the loop or else uh, you just do nothing, you try again basically. So let's attempt this and see if it works. I can remove this from the code. Okay, so that did not work. Uh, let's think what might be the problem uh all oh right here in the else you have to uh, go back to the uh, you have to go back to the uh, vulnerabilities page because if you uh, try to uh, do something that then your link link will be changed and you have to go back to where you want to be so now it should hopefully work Okay, not quite yet. Let's try and find out what it might be. It might actually be this list right here. Uh, let's just create a list instead. Okay. Now let's try to do it. And you can see it successfully did it. The password is password. So we can now log into that user to correct the password. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you have any um, comments or questions, just leave it below and I'll try to respond.